Hello, my name is Joe. I'm with Global Systems United, located here in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, I had a client with a trouble on his fire alarm panel that indicated a battery fault. And so I wanted to just take a brief moment to explain what a battery fault is on a fire alarm control panel. So fire alarm control panels require two sources of power, and that's because it is a life safety system. So if one of those sources of power fails, you still have that backup power as a uh, protective measure for your fire alarm panel. It'll continue to operate until the uh, other power source is restored. So the most common primary source of power is the 120 volts AC. That's the, the power that's in the outlets and in your home or your uh, business. And so that's a pretty consistent power, but it can fail. Uh, and so there's a secondary power source required in the event that it does fail. Uh, the, the most common is uh, batteries. And so if you lose that power, the batteries kick in and they will continue to maintain that life safety system functional uh, until that primary power is restored. And that uh, secondary power is, is called just that, secondary power. The primary is primary. Um, the other, uh, I guess the second most common secondary power source is a generator. And so a generator uh, will kick on uh, in the event of a primary power loss and continue to maintain that system. And so if you have a, uh, a battery fault on your panel, that would indicate that the secondary power source has failed. In other words, those batteries have failed or are failing um, and it's just time to get them replaced. All right, I hope that helps. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.